to the Tough Tiger Talk Nation. This Big Q Chimer with another, another episode of Tough Tiger Talk. Man, we up in this thing. Please feel free to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the share button. Tough Tiger Talk is in the building. For all things LSU football, the diehards we represent. And LSU's Brian Kelly ranked in CBS Top 25 Coaches Poll entering the upcoming season. And we'll go over the entire list and just kind of go over it and see what some of these guys is, but we, we cover this article and we talk about it. And this is right here where it's sourced from right here from the CBS rankings as it covers uh, co- when it talks about coach Kelly and this article right here. So let me go through the list right here, right quick. It's a start from the top 25 power uh, coaches here. The, the, tw- the power five coaches it starts with North Carolina States uh, from men- from them at the top. Then it's Minnesota, Kansas, North Carolina, Mac Brown's there. You see Illinois there, Texas A&M with Jimbo Fisher, Florida State, Mike Norvell is there, Kentucky, Mark Stoops, Oklahoma State, Mike Gundy, Tennessee, Josh Schupel, Wake Forest is there with Mr. Clawson. You see Ole Miss with Lane Kiffin, UCLA with Chip Kelly, Kansas City, I mean Kansas State right there, TCU, Penn State, Wisconsin, Ohio State as we get into the top 10, Utah, Mr. Kyle Whittingham. And of course, you see Brian Kelly at number six. Five is Jim Harbaugh. Number four is USC with Mr. Lincoln Riley. Number three is Dabu Sweeney for Clemson. Number two, Kirby Smart. And of course, the man, number one, Alabama's Nick Saban, former LSU Tiger Nick Saban. Let me say that before he went out there. So anyway, their quick breakdown of Coach Brian Kelly, as you can see, one at Grand Valley State, Central Michigan, Cincinnati, and Notre Dame. So you probably shouldn't have been surprised by Coach Kelly winning the SEC West in his first season at LSU. It turns out the man is good. Is a good football coach, no doubt. Kelly left Notre Dame for LSU because he believed it gave him a, a clearer path toward a national title. And nothing that happened in his first year at Dead Valley suggests he has bad eyesight. No doubt about it, man. Coach Kelly is here because, and he said this, I came here to beat Nick Saban. He accomplished that in his first year. That kind of put a target on LSU as we beat Alabama. They're looking forward to, uh, you know, they circled that game on their schedule. And we have to go up there this upcoming season. But still all, I'm not afraid and I'm not backing down. I think LSU definitely has is, is going to continue this thing, uh, you know, against Alabama. And we're looking at Georgia. Alabama's not really a thing anymore to us, to be honest with you. I think we kind of climbed that mountain, so to speak. But anyway, Let's get into this article right here as Brian Kelly is one of the elite coaches in college football. But the one part that evaded him during his illustrious career is a national championship. LSU has a good chance as any in 23 to compete for a title with an extremely talented roster and the SEC West, where it could be argued that the Tigers have the fewest question marks entering the summer. With those aspirations comes all of the all season talk rankings along the way. As we just showed you, Kelly came in at number six in the country, ranking behind Saban, Smart, Sweeney, and Lincoln Riley and Harbaugh. Here's the reason why Kelly is viewed as a top 10. We showed that, we read that. And it says we, we've shown Kelly has won everywhere. Uh, he's been for a while, but what it really seems to be taking off in his first year at LSU is the recruiting class he signed. Not just the freshman class, but the portal guys, as well as been a major influence on his two signing classes that shows his coaches surrounding himself with some of the best in the business. That's always been a strength for, but for him, but he's reached a different level in Baton Rouge just as early returns as netted him. A number seven class in 2022, a number six class in 2023, and LSU is well on its way to securing a potential top five class in 2024 as well. The number three and number four transfer portal ranking classes are exactly what LSU needed to fill the roster with dependable veterans while at the same time trying to build the ultimate goal of building a program program through the freshman talent doing it all and of course it helps to recruit well when the team is winning the 10 wins lsu achieved in kelly's first season has certainly alerted the attention of many of the top recruits in 2023 24 and 25 classes the tigers also have enough of a young foundation in players like harold perkins will campbell zalance hurd garrett nussmeyer mason taylor deshaun womack quincy wiggins denver harris and javivian 
uh, uh, and, and Javian Tavano to be really excited about the next few years at key positions. The expectations have risen in year two, and that's a good thing as college football playoff bird feels like an achievable goal when you're in the mix for returning talent in the 23 roster with the newcomers. Should LSU achieve those goals, Kelly's place in college coaching hierarchy should and will rise. Now, the offense in year two with much of the same personnel should continue to grow and evolve under second year quarterback, Jaden Daniels. Daniels feels like he still has unfinished business to do in Baton Rouge while he had a very productive first year in SEC, particularly from a running perspective, there's still a lot of room to improve in LSU's passing game. And that's been the focus this past season with Jaden Daniels and Mike Dembrock working together. Let me tell you, LSU was a little banged up in the, in the spring. So we won't get to see the roster relatively in full gear until the fall. But Coach Kelly has mentioned that there are a lot of injured players will be cleared for summer workouts. So that's a positive. We know Mason is another guy that was totally clear. So having him back for this upcoming season will be even larger. This will be the, the, the two-month stretch coming ahead in June and July if the Tigers will be very big. The Tigers hope to achieve their goals of development and chemistry needs to start being crafty. Uh, crafted over the next several weeks. So LSU, a lot of stuff going on that are positive in Death Valley. The, the the staff that Coach Kelly's put around himself in the recruiting, they've done a phenomenal job. All these guys have to do is just win on the field and it'll continue to grow and get even better and better and better and better. So with that being said, that'll do it for this episode of Tough Tiger Talk. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also by means, feel free to share Tough Tiger Talk with the rest of the Tough Tiger Talk on LSU Diehards. Much love and go Tigers.